it again with the snack box. Yeah, you thought we were just gonna be big time fancy travel vloggers now, but nope. We still eat snacks. Yeah, we got our Universal Yums box this month. So we thought we'd film it, you know, cause that's what we like to do. Yeah, and it's been a while. So here we are, Greece. I should probably show you yeah. guys that we're in Greece. Yes, very excited for it. And I, you know, we could go over everything, I guess, but I kind of think we should just jump right in. Yeah. Um, as a reminder, this is just a little monthly subscription box we got. That's all we'll tell you. Yeah, if you need more information about Universal Yums, go check out their website in the description. To kick things off, we're getting started with an almond baklava. Yes, very excited for this one. Grease's nutty take on a flaky classic. Yeah, and this thing is mad sticky because it's literally just actually full of honey. Yeah. So we're just going to have to go at it and then probably just go wash our hands and then come back for the next snack. Yeah, I don't envy David for opening and holding it right now. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to eat this. I'm just going to feed it to you. Okay. All right. Baklava. I'm sorry. The flavor is really good. Mm-hmm. I'm not holding it, so for me it's awesome. Well, it's not as flaky as I like baklava to be. Um, oh, yeah. It's really drenched. To be fair, this is like pre-packaged stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for a baklava that you could just buy and throw in a backpack and then eat a month later, this is probably the best. This, this is this is really good though. I would yeah. definitely eat this again. Yeah, so um, as always, we're gonna be using our emoji rating scale to rate these snacks. We usually do this on three different emojis. It is either excellent or wow, meh, or I did not need this in my life. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna rate it in three, two, one. I can't because my hands are all sticky, but yeah. Two thumbs it's up. Good. Yeah, this is excellent. Very good. Yeah, definitely would recommend this. Not a whole lot needs to be said. It's covered in honey, and I love honey. Our second snack today is the roasted garlic bread chips. And it's way less sticky. Like, 100% less. But they're bagel chips. Yeah. I don't know why they're called bread chips. Because that's really what they are. Yeah. We're going to do a smell test. Some garlic. It's definitely garlic. See, it's a bagel chip. Cheers. I don't like being lied to. That's my thing. Yeah. Yeah, we can't eat too many of these because I want to put cheese on them later. That's really good. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Yeah. All right, quick rating. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've had something similar to this in America before. Mm-hmm. These are just as good. Yeah. Super good. Well, this next one is by the same company as well. And spoiler alert, there's going to be another one by them too. So this video is like Loki sponsored by Toddy's. So if you go to their website and use promo code Jamie and David, it's not going to do anything because it's not actually sponsored by them. But it could be a fun way to check out their website. This next one is the peanut and hazelnut puffs. Roasted peanut or hazelnut. Why not both? Because hazelnuts are better. <laughs> and it just smells like peanuts. Hmm. It's not as bad as Jamie's face is making it out. She just doesn't like peanut butter stuff. But this is all peanut butter. This is just a peanut butter corn puff thing. This is like if you took a Cheetos puff, but you just set it off to the peanut butter factory instead of the cheese factory. Yeah, but like... It like wants to be a Reese's puff, but it's not sweet. It's salty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like it. This All is right. like if you wanted to eat salted peanuts, but you wanted them to be worse for you. Oh no. Alright, three, two, one. Meh. Yeah, I mean I think that's fine. It's a I mean it's a peanut snack, so it's not my it's not really my bag, but it's okay. I mean if you no. like peanuts, like roasted salted peanuts, you're gonna love that. If you like peanuts, but you want them to be the texture of Cheetos, that's the weird thing. If I'm going to eat peanuts, I'm just going to eat peanuts. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's candy time. Mm hmm Kicking it off with the almond milk toffees. Yeah. Um, this is a soft, rich, and creamy treat from Athens. It's just a toffee. Sticky cheaters. Oh, it's way softer than I thought. Wow. Mm hmm I feel like any time I've had anything toffee, I bite into it, and I'm like, whoa, that's way harder than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And this is the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's caramelly, like most toffee toffees are. Mm -hmm. um, and not much to say about it. So, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm I not amazed caramels. by it. I like it. That's really good. Yeah. Bringing it back to Toddy's with the paprika and tomato potato chips. Ooh. I guess I forgot what paprika smells like. It's not what I was expecting. Hmm. Um, these are little rigid chips. Mm -hmm. I don't think tomato belongs on a potato chip. Hmm. That being said, these are good. Mm -hmm. And you get the smokiness of the paprika first. Yeah. But then the tomato comes in at the end and you're like, where did that come from? Yeah. But unlike most tomato potato things that we've had, this one does not taste like ketchup. It tastes like tomatoes. Mm, that's so fair. Very, very important. Okay. Three, mm -hmm. two, one. I give it a thumbs up solely for not tasting like ketchup because I that I went into this thinking like great another ketchup chip I don't like ketchup but it wasn't here's one that I'm not excited for yeah I don't know what this is this is the grape must mustocolora cookie I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that um it's supposed to be a soft grape cookie Grapes and cookies shouldn't mix. Grape and anything shouldn't mix. <laughs> Except for wine. This, it smells pretty good. Nope. Nope, it's gonna lie to me. Oh, it's like a little donut. It's so weird looking. No, you gotta show the whole thing. We're just gonna look at it. And then we'll just... <sighs> It's so dry. Mm hmm I feel like Yelena in Black Widow when she eats the five-year-old granola bar. How is it? It's dry. It's really dry. That is super dry. It doesn't taste like grapes. It doesn't. So I'm going to pause and really read the description of this. <laughs> Oh. All right, after further review, it is made with grape must, mm. not grape flavor. Okay. That makes a lot more sense, man. Yeah, it's still very dry, though, so. Oh, ready? Three, two, one. No, the thumb, thumb, thumbs down. Not a fan. It's... So I'm going to finish it, but... Yeah, I'm going to finish it. That's why I don't give it a thumbs down. It's just bland and dry. Um, like, maybe if I had, like, a coffee to dip it in, but... It's, um, a softer, sadder version of, like, Speculoos, maybe? I don't know, because it's got that kind of cinnamony holiday taste. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's sadder. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to get better, guys. Yeah, this next one, we're pumped, because you know what our favorite kind of thing is? It's not our favorite, but we do like wafer snacks. <laughs> it's wafer snacks. Um, this is a drizzled milk chocolate wafer, and they call this Grease's better version of a Kit Kat. You are coming for one of my favorite candy bars, universe, or Universal Yums, so it better See, be good. As far as I'm concerned, I'm like, that's not a very high bar, so. Kit Kats are delicious. They're fine. Team Kit Kat. Put it in the comments. It is melted because we live in Florida, and this was delivered today. Yep. As most chocolates tend to be in our snack boxes. Oh no, I almost dropped it. 
So yet again, I apologize for what you're about to witness. Good God. Yeah, we're going to be romantic. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Better than a Kit Kat. No. It's just different than a Kit Kat. Yeah. Like, like I would never call a Kit Kat, like, a wafer snack. Yeah. Like, a Kit Kat's just, like, a chocolate bar that no. happens to have wafer in it. This is a wafer snack. Yeah. The, um, wafers are a lot thinner and, and like, airier throughout. Um, and the chocolate layer on the outside is really thin. Mm-hmm. Um, as opposed to a Kit Kat, where it's a thick boy. Mm -hmm. So, um, but still good. So, yeah. rating time. Three, two, one, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very, very good. good. Very good after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for <laughs> okay. real. All right, we're about to have one of my favorite fruits and a little chewy fruit snack. Go for it. This is the pomegranate jelly candy. Very excited. Tart and sweet and exceptionally chewy. I thought it said cherry on the thing and I was going to be like, it just said that its flavor was pomegranate. So, what? Um, it's a little... A little jelly. Yeah. Cheers. Squish. So, my test for seeing if they're lying about being a jelly is always just biting it. It's jelly. Yeah. A jelly, like, bites and chews. Yeah. Instead of a gummy, which just, you know. Yeah, but it's got like a, um... Mm. Like a sugar crust. Yeah. Mm, that's really good, though. The flavor is really good. Jellies are not my favorite texture. Yeah. See, and I love jellies. Like, of all the little, like, jelly gummy type of fruit snacks, jellies are the champions. They're the best. Yeah. I like the gummies that are usually from Turkey, surprisingly. Interesting. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That's I want, good. I want more of these. I want to try other flavors. I, I love me some jellies. I'm not mad at it. We interrupt the snack tasting for a Catacorn water break. Yes. And while we drink some water, just, you know, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, let us know how you think we're doing in the video. Uh, if you think it is dumb, if you think it is fun, tell us. If you think a snack sounds really good or looks really, really gross, tell us that too. If you want to send us food, let us know. Ooh, yeah, do that. So those of you that might have grown up with the Chronicles of Narnia books, you are probably a small child, and you read those books wondering what in the heck Turkish Delight is, and is it delicious? Well, we're here to find out. Except this is a different flavor. <laughs> this is the Prickly Pear Turkish Delight. Sweet. I love Prickly Pear. I've never had Turkish Delight before. David has, though. Yeah, I had it once when I was a kid and I didn't like it, but I also liked sweet things as a kid a lot more, so my hopes are pretty good, because nowadays I like things that are much less sweet. They're very coated. Yeah, they're also very not as square as the packaging would have you believe. We unwrapped it without killing our floor. Yeah, minimal powdered sugar spill. Right. I feel like I'm holding a chunk of an iceberg. I feel like I'm holding a piece of chicken that I just dredged in flour. I don't! Why would you say that? Because it's what it looks like. I'm angry. Alright. That's pretty good. What is that? I'm about that. It's kind of like a jelly. But like coated in like a powdered sugar. Yeah. It's like if you took the thing we just ate, mm -hmm. but instead of the crystal sugar, it was powder sugar. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. It's not good enough to sell my soul to an evil witch for, but it's good. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. More <laughs> for me. It took me a long time. Three, two, one. Yeah. I don't like it. No, nah, she's wrong. This is good. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm a fan. I've got really high hopes for these cookies. They're our last ones, and I'm really hoping they're good. Yeah. These are the almond Corabetus Cora... Cora... cookies. Again, I am so sorry for mispronouncing that. Yeah, you can that. just read that along right, right here. I don't um, forget how cameras and perspective work. The box we have says shortbread. So I'm assuming it's a shortbread-like cookie. Yeah. 
More powdered sugar to spill everywhere. Thank you, Grease. These ones are gonna be worth it, though. <laughs> this is this is difficult. This, this is some a careful process. maneuvering. All right, I'm gonna grab. Oh God! Oh, 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 it's so thick with powdered sugar. Oh God! It's it's crumbly. Oh like. god, it's falling apart on me. I'm mine, sorry, mine is it's falling snowing. apart as I grab it. I really want it to get into focus. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Cheers. Good job. Oh. Oh my god. There's so much powdered sugar on this. I can't handle my life. It is really good. It's really good, but the amount of powdered sugar that I just had to bite through mm -hmm. is insane. Yeah. I mean, let me see if I can get this up close so you can actually see. That's the kind of content you wanted to see. Just how thick the powdered sugar is on this. Like, look at that. That is so thick on that. That's all powdered sugar right there. Despite that, though, and it still being sweet, like really sweet because there's a lot of powdered sugar, you still get a, just a bucket of butter <laughs> from the shortbread. Mm -hmm. It still comes through. Um, and so much almond flavor. Yeah, it's it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, are we gonna, are you, is yeah. your hand available to rate? Three, kind of. two, one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah, I'm just gonna carefully set mine down. All right. So. Overall, what a great box to get back into snack boxing with. Yeah, that was a... All in all, a fantastic box. Like, yeah. There was a couple, but yeah. mostly really good. That was definitely a top tier one. Yeah, definitely had some uh, new favorite snacks for me. Mm -hmm. So let's get into our overall ratings. Yeah. David, what was your favorite snack? <sighs> That's kind of tough because there was a lot of really, really good ones. Um, honestly, I think my favorite was the Turkish Delights. Oh, no, no, the jellies. The jelly was really good. I liked the jelly. That I one is my favorite. I still don't agree with you. Oh, goodness gracious, no. Mm -hmm. All right, what was your least favorite? My least favorite was that terrible cookie that was dry and bland and uh, had oh, no redeeming qualities yeah. whatsoever. Not the one we just ate. Not the powdered sugar one. No. The, the middle one. The middle the, the grape must. The, yeah. one, the one made with grape must. Yeah, the one that we clearly did not like, as but opposed will, to the one that I loved. I will not pronounce again yeah. uh, in fear of offending people. Because I suck at pronouncing that stuff. Yeah. Um, what was your, what was the weirdest one for you? The weirdest? Probably the almond shortbread. Okay. That, that was, that's just like, that's not a thing that you see in packages much here in the States. Um, what was the one that most surprised you? That one's the Turkish delight. Mm, yeah. yeah. He didn't think he was going to like it because he had it before and didn't like it. Yeah, I, I really didn't like it. It, it. And it tastes pretty similar to kind of what I recall it tasting like. Mm -hmm. Like it was a familiar flavor, but I liked it a lot this time because I just enjoy different things from foods. How about you? What was your uh, least favorite? Probably the corn puff and mm. peanut snacks. Yeah, that one was strange. Yeah, I thumbs down with those and was not a fan. All right, so what was your weirdest? The weirdest was the Turkish Delight. Okay. In not a good way. In not a good way. How about your most surprising? My most surprising um, was probably the paprika chips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I... they didn't taste like ketchup. <laughs> that is very true. I thought you were going to say the bread chips because they weren't called bagel chips, but okay. Uh, what was your favorite um my favorite was probably the baklava Ooh. yeah it was a tie for the baklava and the shortbread uh oh no it was a tie for the baklava and the chocolate mm. the shortbread was really really good it's almost there it's like half a step away um but i really love baklava mm -hmm. and i really hate bad baklava that's true and this was good for being packaged and stuff. And I mean, it was um, mm -hmm. it was Greek, so between the different Mediterranean countries, there might be different interpretations of it. And I did like this recipe. Any final thoughts on this box? 
Um, no, not really. Other than that, it was a really good box. Um, we love Universal Yums. We get them every single month. It's been over a year now, I think, since we've started getting them. Mm -hmm. um, so again, we will link their information below. Yes. Um, if you got this box, tell us what you loved. If you got a different box, tell us what you did because we love getting ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and like the video if you want to see more snack videos because this is this is our favorite thing to do. It, it is. is. Yeah. We like it a lot. We like it. Yep. And we will see y'all next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. To check out more of our videos, click here. If you'd like to follow along on our awkward adventures, click to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. You can also follow each of us on social media at our handles below.